Shalom, covering you. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. And of course, we'll be looking at several things not related to Israel today. Of course, there was another stabbing uh, attack, attack, at least an attempted attack, and the terrorist was shot dead uh, today in Israel. Uh, but a lot of interesting things going on in and around the world. Uh, the stock market, of course, today in the United States closed down. Uh, the Dow was uh, down 390 points there, uh, to uh, almost a 2.5% drop there. Uh, another interesting thing as well, uh, because of all this, we're seeing the oil drop uh, per barrel as well to $29 a barrel. And, and you cannot help but wonder if the U.S. doesn't uh, really work hard to affect the market in order to cause Russia a lot of hardships. Uh, needless to say, that's one of the things that uh, the U.S. has been doing to try to cause China and Russia uh, to collapse financially and uh, not doing a bad job when it comes to those issues there. Uh, before I go into this next little thing here, just to kind of top out what, what I just wanted to kind of highlight for you, let me just share one thing with you here. I have been many hours in study today. Uh, on uh, an amazing uh, story I want to share with you tomorrow. I was hoping to get it done today, did not get it done in time, but uh, very fascinating prophecy regarding Jordan. Uh, there is a prophecy, it's in two different places in the Bible that clearly points to a prophecy regarding uh, Jordan's king Abdullah and some events that are going to happen in the country of Jordan in the very near future. Now, what's going to cause it? I don't know, but we will see, just as we're seeing right now, all the destruction that's going on in Syria, you're going to also see that Amman is going to fall to the same fate, very similar fate to what Syria has fallen to. And of course, we saw in one prophecy as well that something is going to happen to the... Uh, to the um, Bashar al-Assad of Syria. Prophecy does indicate that he will leave from that position that he's in now. And recently I found another prophecy that may very well indicate that Abdullah, the king of Jordan, is gonna go into captivity. We'll get into that tomorrow uh, for sure. I don't know what all we'll be bringing up, but by God's grace, we'll be looking into some interesting things regarding that, some of the past, why it's going to happen, and how, by God's grace, I know that this is on, uh, will be up and coming in the very near future there. Uh, this article here, though, on RT News, two things here that really caught my attention here. This came out, uh, this one came out back in December, but there's another one that came out today about dealing with asteroids. This one says, if something big enough hits Earth now, say bye-bye. Rosetta Mission astro uh, uh, astrophysicist uh, made this statement here. Uh, this young man right here, he's a British, Matt Taylor. And, uh, and he says in the article here, Bruce Willis is not going to be able to help us if we have some type of uh, asteroid, that, like the case of the movie Armageddon. Uh, so he said we can pretty much kiss everything goodbye. But of course, Russia has been working on how to divert such device or such a huge asteroid or comet that might come into play. And in an article that came out today, Russian researchers plan nuking asteroids for EU defense project to avoid fate of dinos. In other words, for not having an extinction of the dinosaurs. Now, what's really interesting is Russia planning on using a nuclear bomb to do something if that were to fly by. Now, I could not help but wonder if something like this were to come up in the near future, of course, trying to hit an asteroid with a nuclear bomb outside of the Earth's atmosphere there to, as Russia said, would divert it off its course, that would be a good excuse to be able to uh, cause, what do they call that, where they let a nuclear bomb off in the atmosphere above you? It pretty much sends everyone back into the Stone Age of the country that that were to happen at. But needless to say, if there is such a threat, and of course Russia deemed it necessary to use a nuke to knock an asteroid or common off its, off its course, wouldn't it be interesting if it happened over the United States? I'm not saying that we want anything like that to happen by no means, but my point is uh, that is an EMT uh, attack and or EMP attack, and that very well could be used as a justification. 
Who knows? As they say, you never know when one's coming, and Russia's trying to find out whether or not one's coming or not. Anyway, also North Korea, another interesting thing about North Korea here, if you look at Kim Jong-il here, and this is not because of the article here, uh, but Kim Jong-il has sent a, a message to South Korea and making a pledge to the United States that they will stop doing their nuclear test if the United States and South Korea stop doing war exercises together. It's funny. This young man looks more like a little computer geek that sits at home playing a bunch of little uh, games and everything. And yet, he's really just ready just to go out and wipe everybody off the map. Then he turns around and it's almost like a person with a bipolar disorder, Kim Jong-il, uh, because now he talks about wanting to make peace. Well, of course, you know, his father before him did the same. And then after the U.S. gave him a lot of many millions of dollars of aid, then he turned and reneged on his deals. And of course, you see the same thing going on. Father and son kind of following the same footsteps. Anyway, we will be seeing you guys tomorrow, hopefully with a very interesting blessing for you. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and good evening.